In this video, let's take a look at the solution for insertion sort. In replet, let's begin by defining the function signature. Function insertion sort, parentheses and curly braces. The function will have one parameter, ARR, which represents the array to sort. For example, if we have an array, 820 minus 2, 4 minus 6, and we pass the array into the insertion sort function and then log the array to the console, we should see the elements sorted in ascending order. Now, what do we know about insertion sort? We know that the first element is assumed to be sorted and we need to traverse the unsorted part of the array. The unsorted part starts from index 1 till index array length minus 1. To achieve that, we can use a for loop. For let i is equal to 1, i less than array dot length, I++. Plus plus. Next, we know that the number to insert in each iteration has to be stored in a variable for insertion when we find the right place for it. So let number to insert is equal to array of i. Next, we know that the number to insert needs to be compared with each element in the sorted part. And we know that the sorted part always lies to the left of the unsorted part. For example, minus 6 is at an index that is 1 less than the index of the number to insert. So, let j is equal to i minus 1. Here, j refers to the index of the sorted element. Now the sorted elements can be more than one. We need logic to iterate over the sorted part of the array. For that, we are going to use a while loop. While j is greater than or equal to zero, j is equal to j minus one. We check if j is greater than or equal to zero to ensure we iterate till the first element in the array we decrement j in each iteration. But we also need to check if the sorted element is greater than the number to insert. Otherwise, there is no need to iterate further to the left. Let's add a condition for that. And array of j is greater than number to insert. If this is the case, for example, 20 is greater than 8, we need to shift the sorted element to the right by one index. So, array of j plus 1 is equal to array of j. This while loop ensures all the elements greater than the number to insert are shifted to the right by 1. Once that is done, j will point at the index where the condition failed or the sorted element is lesser than the number to insert. For example, minus 6. Since minus 6 is less than 8, we insert 8 to the right of minus 6. So array of j plus 1 is equal to number to insert. And that is our implementation of insertion sort. Let me summarize the code. We use a for loop to iterate through the unsorted part of the array. We store the number to insert in each iteration. We compare the sorted elements in the array with the number to insert, trying to find the index where the insertion has to happen. The index is where sorted element is lesser than the number to insert. You then insert the number to the right of that index. Now, if this was hard to follow, let me tell you, it is hard to follow. Don't stress yourself if you didn't get this in the first go. Please rewatch the video and it will slowly start to make more sense. 
All right, let's verify by running the code. We see the sorted array. Our code works as expected. What I would like you to do is take a pen and paper and trace the function execution for a different array. Once for a sorted array and once for a reverse sorted array where the elements are in descending order. That will really help you understand the insertion sort algorithm. All right, next it's time to determine the big O of our insertion sort function. Pause for a minute and determine the big O. Here is the cheat sheet which can be used as a guide. Pause now or let's estimate the big O together. Our function contains two loops, a while loop nested inside a for loop. From our cheat sheet, it is pretty evident that big O is quadratic time complexity. Big O is equal to O of n square. As the number of elements in the array increases, the number of comparisons increases by square of that number. So that is about insertion sort. In the next video, let's take a look at quick sort which uses recursion. Thank you for watching. Please do make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.